it's a very uh, chaotic scene that takes place uh, when you have mass casualties like that. Five days after that devastating bus crash that killed three people on the transit way behind me, the Transportation Safety Board will be joining the investigation to find out what went so terribly wrong. I have accepted the offer of technical assistance from the Transportation Safety Board of Canada, or TSB. The TSB usually only investigates accidents involving rail, pipelines, aircraft and marine vehicles. But the severity of the crash and the fact another OC Transpo bus was involved in a fatal crash six years ago prompted the Ottawa police chief to ask for help. Certain aspects of the reconstruction of the collision, uh, looking at the human factors, uh, the data collection of all the devices that may be on the bus, uh, looking at the vehicle design or any structure uh, design as well is, is things that they are experts on. The news comes after some municipal and provincial politicians suggested the TSB. It's incumbent upon policymakers to ask those questions. Is there a systemic issue here that we need to address? Yesterday, police announced the names of the three victims, 56-year-old Bruce Tomlinson, 57-year-old Judy Booth, and 65-year-old Aja Van Beek. All three were public servants. Another 23 were injured. Initially, police believed one of the victims who died was waiting on the platform, but today announced all three were on the bus. Another 23 were injured. Police have only ruled out impaired driving so far and are still investigating all other possibilities. Friday's crash comes six years after another deadly bus crash in Ottawa when an OC Transpo bus collided with a passenger train, killing six people. And the fact that we've now seen two pretty catastrophic incidences within the past decade uh, was uh, was pretty un unsettling. The TSB will be helping to investigate technical matters, but will not assist in administering criminal fault. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.